Hey there, I'm Dan Brisebois, and this is the Farmer Spreadsheet Academy. Welcome to my first weekly spreadsheet tip. For this first video, I wanted to talk about some product. My favorite use of some product is in planning out a CSA basket. People have paid $25 per basket. Because they've signed up in advance and you've gotten a commitment from them for the full season, you might want to provide more than they paid for. Perhaps 15 to 20% more. And if you're doing that, your target value is going to be $28.75 to $30 per week. There's a little spreadsheet down here if you want to adjust for different percentages. Now let's get back to some product. This is a sheet you can use to plan out what you plan on selling at a farmer's market or to a wholesale client or in this case to a basket member, a member of your CSA. The first three columns are what you're putting in the basket. Column A is the crop. Column B is how you're selling the crop. And column C is how you're pricing that amount. Arugula would be $10 a pound. Basil is $3 a bunch. Beans are $4 a pound, and so forth. I think you get the idea. The next section of the spreadsheet is each week of your sales period for that outlet. Let's plan the week of June 1st for your CSA client. So this is early in the season. You can have a, at least in our climate, it's early in the season. You don't have as much availability, so let's decide to put a little bit of kale in there, maybe a kohlrabi, a lettuce. And um, as you're going along, you want to verify what the basket is worth. And that's what row 24 is about. So you could go $3 times 1 plus $2 times 1 plus $3 times 1 equals eight dollars. Some quick math, but it's a little bit onerous if you're going to do this for all the products throughout all the sheets. There must be a better way. And there is. And that, my friends, is where some product saves the day. Let's use some some product. Equals some product. Open parentheses. Highlight the first range you're going to use. Comma second range you're multiplying by, close the, uh, close the parentheses, enter, and see we got our amount, $8. As we add new, um, new values in there, so let's say we add a half pound of mesclun, it adjusts the total value. We could add, let's say we're gonna give a pound of peas and a bunch of radishes, a bunch of scallions, um, maybe a bunch of cilantro. We're still a little under the amount. Let's toss in an extra kohlrabi because uh, who wants just one kohlrabi? And there we are, $29.50. Week one is done. Let's go look at the, the week of June 8th. So let's copy this over to the next cell and start planning. We're gonna start with kale again and, hey, wait a minute. The value is only one dollar. It should be one times three. Something is wrong. Let's click on that. What we can see is we're multiplying this range by this range. Copy pasting over by one field just moved all the ranges. We got a problem. Let's go back to this formula and lock these cells. Now when we copy paste over here, we're always going to be doing these cells times this range here. As we add more items in, the math works well. We can take this formula and copy paste all the way to the end, and it should work. Let's try the week of August 31st to make sure that it does. So it's a little bit hotter at this time of year. We've got different crops you can play with. Let's uh, start with a bunch of basil, 
a pound of beans, maybe, let's put a bunch of carrots in, two cucumbers, garlic just got harvested, nice and cured. Let's throw that in, people are gonna love that. Um, people still wanna have some salad greens with their, with their meal. A couple peppers, um, maybe a few summer squash, two pounds of tomatoes, and bang. We've, uh, we've gotten just above our $30. Let's leave it at that. It's nice to plan a little bit on the high side. So just in case some things don't work out, you have a little bit of the safety factor worked in. Now you can plan week by week, calculating the value using some product. The only thing left to do will be to grow the vegetables. That was some product. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next week for another spreadsheet tip. Why don't you click on the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss it when it comes out. And if you wish, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter also, where I write about spreadsheets and seeds and farming. So have a great week and see you later.